Chapter 51 Water, Elemental Dragon Eggs You are listening at NovelFull.audio He had not expected that the new spirit potion he had sold would now return to his own hands. It was a gift from Prince Antoine. It was a further gesture of goodwill and wooing. He had wanted to refuse, but Antoine's servant put down the potion and left in a hurry. He frowned. Harriet's reminder was still ringing in his ears. He had no interest in the intrigue and strife within the palace. Everyone seemed to think of him as Harriet's successor, and even Harriet seemed to have a vague idea. The royal family had decorated him, and Antoine had deliberately befriended him. Both sides were trying to rope him in. Harriet had guarded the Alcott Empire for 500 years. But, Jolson would not do that. Jolson raised his head, and through the window of the carriage, he could see the vast starry sky. This world was very big, and he would not stay in a small Alcott empire forever. Time passed very quickly. Three days later. In the Dragon God Ranch. After carefully picking the mature dragon reeds, Jolson called out towards the lava volcano, Dulu. A huge fire dragon broke out from the lava. It flapped its wings and slowly landed in front of Jolson. Open your mouth. Dulu obediently lay on the ground and lowered its head. Just like when it was a child, its mouth was wide open. Hot steam came out of its throat, bringing with it a smell of sulfur. Jolson threw one flower after another into Dulu's mouth. Gulp gulp. Dulu did not even bother to chew. The small flower was not even as big as its teeth, so it directly swallowed it. However, its growth value kept increasing. 3870, 3920, 3970, 4020. There was a flash of light in Jolson's eyes. Promotion. Almost at the next moment, Dulu suddenly raised his head, issued a huge roar. It could not help flapping its wings to fly to the sky, a faint red light from its body emitted. The body expands and grows again. Jolson could feel all the fire elements in the air converging towards Dulu. The dignity of a dragon soared once again. The violent aura dispersed the small clouds above the floating island. Tier.6 Giant Dragon Dulu had taken another big step towards becoming an adult. Jolson looked at Dulu's attribute panel through the Dragon God Arena. Fire Dragon Clan Name Dulu Strength Tier 6 Combat Power 3000 Skills Level 1.6 Fire Magic, Bite, Dragon Shield Habitat Medium Dot Sized Fire Dragon Nest Output 35 Gold Coins Per Minute Growth Points 28th 000 Personality Loyal, passionate, hot-tempered, brave with one upgrade, Dulu's combat power had increased by a full 500 points. Dulu soared in the sky, roaring furiously and spewing flames as it wantonly released its dragon might. Jolson knew that it was yearning for a battle. Don't rush. Jolson said softly. He still had more important things to do. Congratulations, rancher for successfully raising a dragon to tier point 6. Obtained reward, new attribute dragon egg asterisk 1, a hint of excitement appeared on Jolson's face. He had been looking forward to this for a long time. A new dragon companion. The illusory turntable filled with dragon eggs of various elements appeared once again. At a glance, Jolson saw a dragon egg that emitted a metallic luster. It gave off a heavy feeling, as if it was cast with steel. Steel Dragon Recalling the domineering and fierce posture of the ancient steel dragon soul in the dragon god arena. He even wanted to rush up to it and bring it down. Also, his gaze swept across the turntable. A pure white dragon egg caught his attention. The pure white dragon egg was filled with a sacred aura. Beside the pure white dragon egg was a black dragon egg that was the complete opposite of him. Staring at its pitch dot black egg shell that was like the night, it was as if even its soul was about to be sucked in. Light and dark elemental dragon eggs. Jolson's heart trembled violently. 
he had experienced how terrifying light and dark attributes were. The tier point four light and dark elemental magic wolves in the Mage Tower had made him suffer. After that, Jolson had challenged the 40th level several times, but without exception, he had failed all of them, not even once. If it was a dragon with light and dark attributes. Even he couldn't imagine how terrifying it would be. Light, dark, or metal, just give me any one. He thought silently. He took a deep breath and confirmed the lottery draw. The illusory wheel spun quickly, the needle skimmed over light, dark, metal. Jolson felt a sense of loss, but when the needle slowly stopped on a dragon egg. His eyes froze for a moment. It was actually a dragon egg with this attribute. It was a dragon egg that was as blue as the sky. The eggshell was flowing with a faint magical halo, as if water was flowing on it. It was very beautiful, like a huge blue agate stone. Congratulations to the rancher for obtaining a water elemental dragon egg asterisk 1, water elemental dragon egg. Jolson's expression started to become strange. Du Lu was a fire elemental dragon, and now he was given a water elemental dragon egg. A bold idea came to his mind uncontrollably. Perhaps this was not a very bad lottery result, and it might even be a very lucky result. Thinking of that possibility, Jolson could not help but feel a little excited. But the first step he had to do now was to hatch the dragon egg. Jolson took out the dagger that he had prepared earlier and gently cut his finger. He still remembered that when he bit his finger, it was still quite painful. Blood flowed out from the tip of his finger and dripped onto the blue dragon egg. The egg shell was like a sponge, absorbing all the blood. O.org this time, Jolson had a special feeling. It was as if the contract had been signed in a place he did not know. Crack. A crisp cracking sound. A baby dragon as blue as the sky popped its head out of the egg shell. It was a small one, very cute. The baby dragon struggled to get out of the eggshell. Plop. It fell to the ground with a loud sound. E-N-I, E-N-I. The water-type baby dragon seemed to be in pain from the fall. Its mouth grew bigger, and tears started to flow out of its sapphire-like big eyes. It actually cried. Jolson didn't know what to say. This baby dragon was much more delicate than Du Lu. Could it be a girl? Du Lu flapped its wings and descended from the sky. Its eyes were filled with curiosity. It had never seen any other dragon, except for the steel dragon's dragon soul. This was the first time it had seen such a small dragon of its kind. Du Lu was like using a big dog at this time. It leaned its head over and kept sniffing the scent. Frightened, the young water dragon backed away and cried even harder. Chapter 52 The Tree of Spiritual Power You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Jolson laughed softly and walked up quickly. He pushed Du Lu's big head away and carefully carried the young water. Elemental dragon, coaxing it like a nanny. The young water. Elemental dragon seemed to feel a familiar aura from Jolson's body. It stopped crying immediately and rubbed its small head against his chest affectionately. It seemed to be acting coquettishly. Please give the rancher a name for the new dragon clan. I'll call you any. Jolson patted the young, blue dragon's small head and said with a smile. Because this young dragon had been crying any, 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 Jolson gave it this name. Jolson always felt that any was a girl. Name successful. Any let out a, E-N-I, E-N-I, sound and laughed. It seemed that she liked this name very much. Congratulations to the rancher for having a second dragon. Obtained 50 experience points. With the experience of being a nanny for Du Lu, Jolson was already completely familiar with how to take care of a newborn dragon. Jolson picked up all the fragments of Eni's dragon eggshell and fed it piece by piece. Eni ate quickly. Crack crack crack. Eating the eggshell, Eni reminded Jolson of eating potato chips in his previous life. Every time she ate a piece of eggshell, Eni would lick Jolson's fingers with her soft pink tongue. 
This was her way of expressing her love for Jolson. Du Lu looked on enviously. What would the blue dragon eggshell fragment taste like? It also wanted to taste it. Du Lu could not help but move its head closer, wanting Jolson to feed it a piece as well. Jolson laughed as he cursed and pushed it away. A level 6 giant dragon would not be embarrassed to fight with a newborn baby dragon for food. Any casually ate all the eggshells, not leaving a single fragment. Her small blue belly bulged, and she kept burping. Then her eyelids kept falling, and she closed them. She gave a very cute yawn. Obviously, Annie was tired after eating. Dot Jolson gently placed Annie on the grass, and then opened the system panel. Building a water dot elemental dragon nest. A small water dot elemental dragon nest is under construction. The construction of a small water dot elemental dragon nest is complete. At the location that Jolson had specified, the grass split open, and clear spring water surged up. The land with the spring water as the center kept collapsing, and clear water surged out. Not long after, a small pond the size of a football field appeared in front of Jolson. Jolson took a look at the wealth he had now, a total of more than 100,000 gold coins. He simply upgraded the small water dot type dragon nest to a medium dot sized one. The small pond that had just landed rapidly expanded, and before long, it turned into a sparkling lake. He could even vaguely see all kinds of small fish swimming in the lake. The ranch was finally starting to come to life. Building the dragon nest and upgrading the dragon nest gave him a few hundred more experience points. At this rate, he would soon advance to the fifth rank and become a magic shooter. After that, Jolson specially cultivated another piece of farmland for any to grow dragon scale fruits. The level of the dragon ream flower was still too high for any. He was afraid that it would have indigestion. If she leveled up too quickly, she would not have much fighting strength. As the nanny of a dragon whelp, Jolson had really prepared too much for the dragon whelp. Looking at Annie who was sleeping soundly, the corner of Jolson's mouth curled up slightly, revealing a trace of a smile. When Annie woke up and found that she had a perfect new home and delicious food, she did not know how happy she would be. Du Lu Jolson waved at Du Lu to signal it to come over and said seriously to it, in the future, when I'm not here, you have to take good care of Annie. Hmm, Sister Annie, do you understand? Du Lu slowly shook his huge head, indicating that he understood. After taking care of everything, Jolson put all his energy on himself. He looked at his hands calmly. A flame suddenly emerged from his palms. Level point one fireball spell. With Jolson's current level point four strength, the fireball spell was the size of another human head. Its power was definitely far greater than level point one spells. The fireball burned quietly in his right hand. He turned to look at his left hand. His palm gradually became moist. A drop of water gradually condensed. The drop of water rapidly expanded and turned into an irregular ball of water. Tier point one spell, water ball spell. After he hatched any, he naturally obtained her terrifying talent in water magic. The water elements in the air also became very familiar to him. It was completely impossible to tell that Jolson was a fire magician. The water ball expanded to the size of a flame. Jolson's gaze became solemn. He wanted to test the idea in his heart. He raised both his hands, the water ball in his left hand and the flame in his right hand as if they were from an ancient god. The water ball and the flame slowly approached. That's right. Jolson intended to try fusing the water element and the fire element. Just like the Song of Ice and Fire in the Magic Potion. There was also the fusion of the ice element and the fire element in the level point five spell, but that was also a spell that required the cooperation of two mages, unlike what Jolson did. But now, Jolson wanted to do it on his own. It was not unheard of for people to have the talent of both water and fire elements. Although such people were rare, there had been some such people in the long run. 
usually, under such circumstances, they would choose to major in one element and then completely give up on the talent of the other element. This was because the mages who tried to practice both elements at the same time had all died in the constant clashes between the water and fire elements. Even if it was a dual element magic talent that did not conflict, very few people would choose to practice it at the same time. After all, a person's energy was very limited. However, Jolson did not have such concerns. For him, advancing did not require any time at all. Eni's appearance not only brought him a very powerful water magic talent, but even his spiritual power had also undergone a huge change and upgrade. Jolson did not advance to a fifth dot tier mage. But his spiritual power had become stronger than before. If one compared spiritual power to a tree. The thickness of a tree trunk was the embodiment of a mage's spiritual power talent. This kind of spiritual power talent was also determined by nature. Except for very few cases, it could never be changed. Du Lu's talent sharing made the tree trunk of Jolson much thicker, and he became a super genius that amazed countless people. This was only the change brought about by Du Lu's fire dragon. And now, any made Jolson's spiritual tree expand once again. Chapter 53 Fusion Magic You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. If the current Jolson were to participate in the entrance test of the Tulip Academy of Magic, he might be able to directly burst the crystal ball for the spiritual power test. However, this was not the biggest benefit that was brought to Jolson. Every mage's spiritual tree was naked, with only a main trunk and no branches that branched out. The mage meditated every day, and the purpose was to continuously water his spirit tree, making it taller and longer. But no matter how hard the mages tried, the tree would not grow any branches. But Jolson broke this iron rule. His spirit tree spread out on both sides like a palm, and two branches grew up. Dot with this, Jolson could perfectly control two different elements at the same time. He could perfectly control the fire and water elements, so as to avoid the danger of a conflict between the water and fire elements. The water ball and the fire ball slowly approached. The water and fire elements that formed them discovered each other's existence, and as if they had met their enemy, they instantly became violent. These two elements were natural enemies. At this moment, a gentle power descended. It appeased the water and fire elements had become irritable. This was Jolson's spiritual power. Just like what Jolson had once said, in order for these two completely conflicting magic elements to maintain a state of peace, or even to work together. In the middle, there must be a medium to unite them. The water element and the fire element were like two countries that had fought each other for generations. Jolson's spiritual power was the lobbyist between them, traveling between the two countries, eliminating their estrangement and hatred, and condensing their power. His spiritual power slowly seeped into the water ball and the fireball, gently breaking the two elements apart, then mixing and recombining them. From the outside, it seemed that the water ball and the fireball in Jolson's left and right hands seemed to have fused together. The color was no longer pure, turning into a new magic elemental ball with two colors, red and blue. It worked. A trace of joy appeared in Jolson's eyes. Let's try the power of the fused magic elemental ball. Jolson threw the water and fire elemental ball to the grass in front of him. The grass in the dragon god ranch on the floating island was wrapped by a magical power. Even if it was destroyed, it would be restored to its original state the next day. The red and blue elemental ball drew a beautiful trajectory in the air and then hit the grass hard. Boom! A violent explosion was heard. Soil and grass splashed and smoke rose in the middle of the ranch. When the smoke dispersed, Jolson was stunned for a moment. A huge hole appeared on the ground, and wisps of white smoke were rising from the hole. Wasn't this power a little too powerful? Burning, corrosion, explosion, and splash. There were several damage effects, and damage that even surpassed that of a normal level point 2 spell. Was the power of the fusion of water and fire elements so terrifying? 
Song of Ice and Fire was only comparable to a level 0.5 spell. The power of level 0.5 water and fire fusion spell was also inferior to a true level 0.6 spell. But why did it become even more powerful when it came to him? Jolson frowned and began to think, but soon his frown relaxed again. This should be a problem of the fusion of magic elements. Song of Ice and Fire, Potion, Level 0.5 Fusion Spell One was to combine the magic crystal powder of the two elements to achieve fusion, and the other was to let two different mages control the fusion of the two elements. The fusion of the elements of these two methods was not very high. As for Jolson, because of the mutation of his spiritual power, he could perfectly fuse the two elements together. Therefore, the power unleashed was even greater. Jolson's eyes became brighter and brighter. He saw a path that could greatly increase his own strength. The fusion of level point one water and fire magic had such great power. Then, what if it was level point two, level point three, level point four, or even higher? The power of the combined magic would only become more and more terrifying. Moreover, he could still instantly cast the combined magic. This was even more terrifying. Jolson had a faint premonition in his heart. The 40th floor of the Mage Trial Tower. This time, he was afraid that he would be able to pass it. In the following period of time, Jolson was constantly practicing the fusion of water and fire magic of various levels in the ranch. Harriet Terence had the complete books of all kinds of magic, and Jolson had copied all of them. The ranch was filled with roaring sounds. The grass was flying and the soil was scattered. In the distance, Annie, who was sleeping comfortably, seemed to be disturbed by the noise. Her small face was slightly wrinkled, and she looked a little uncomfortable. Dulu was lying next to her, looking at her with a pair of huge dragon eyes. Its wide wings slowly covered Annie, forming a small soundproof magic circle. Annie snorted twice, turned over, and her small body curled up into a ball. Hey, hey, hey. Du Lu's eyes were filled with gentleness. He liked his new sister very much. Francis walked on the main road of the academy. There were many people who knew him in the academy. From time to time, there would be people who would stop and look at him before starting to discuss in low voices. Look, it's Francis. I heard that he was provoked by Jolson and has already quit the Truth Society. Now, he's concentrating on his cultivation. That's right, it's like this. But it's said that he's still a third-dot-rank mage. It seems that his cultivation hasn't had any results. Oh right, his ranking in the mage tower has risen by two places, to the twenty. Third floor. It seems that he can't be compared to Jolson at all. In the past, there were people who called him and Jolson the twin stars of the Tulip Academy. Ha, huh, this is so funny. Keep your voice down. Don't let him hear you. Francis' expression did not change, but his hands were clenched tightly. His nails dug into his palms, and he was almost bleeding. Those harsh discussions pierced into his heart like needles. In the past, his treatment in the academy was not like this. No matter where Francis went, there was only praise, amazement, and flattery around him. But now, all these changes were all because of one person. Jolson Edward. When Francis thought of this name, he felt a sense of powerlessness from the bottom of his heart. Because Jolson was too strong. His talent was simply too terrifying to be human. Chapter 54 Breaking through the 40th level you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. However, Francis was not depressed for long, and his fighting spirit was soon reignited. He had to catch up with the footsteps of Jolson, even if the hope was almost invisible. Because. An extremely beautiful face flashed through Francis' mind. Her Royal Highness Princess de Shannon liked Jolson. And there was only one thing he could do. Penance. One day, Francis would defeat Jolson and prove to everyone that talent was not everything. Francis was the strongest mage. Mage Tower. 
Francis would come here almost every day now. He should be able to break through the 20.5th floor today. As Francis was thinking, a gentle and familiar voice suddenly sounded in his ear. Senior Raymond. He turned around. It was Jolson. Was he here to challenge the Mage Tower too? Jolson was smiling as he greeted Raymond when he suddenly felt a gaze staring at him. He turned around and saw a familiar face. It was Francis. Jolson was stunned for a moment. He nodded at Francis and walked straight into the light door of the Mage Tower. Francis did not know what he was feeling. He remembered the first time he met Jolson. At that time, he was still the head of the executive department of the Truth Society, the new genius of the Tulip Magic Academy, and the object of everyone's admiration. At that time, he was still standing high up, looking down at Jolson. But soon, his position and Jolson's were switched. Now, it was his turn to look up at the other party. Even if he looked up, he could not even see the back of the other party's neck. Francis followed him into the light door in a daze. Mage Tower, 40th Floor Ten elemental magic wolves surrounded Jolson in a fan shape. The ice, electric, and air elemental magic wolves condensed a dazzling light from their mouths. The fire, wind, and earth elemental magic wolves pounced on Jolson like bolts of lightning. The close dot range and long dot range attacks complemented each other. The magic wolves tacit understandingly was truly terrifying. Jolson did not panic at all. His expression was very calm as if he was taking a walk. The tungsten wood staff suddenly appeared in his hand. Jolson gripped the staff tightly and lightly tapped it. A blazing red light burst out from the top of the staff. It formed a halo that spread out in all directions. Level point four fire spell, flame ripple. In an instant, all five elemental magic wolves were heavily injured. They were sent flying by the shock and impact of the ripple. At this moment, the magic elements from the spit of the elemental magic wolf with three rare attributes had already arrived in front of Jolson. Jolson took a step back. An arc-shaped shield wall formed entirely of solid ice rose from under his feet. The three elemental balls easily shattered the shield wall into ice shards. However, Jolson also easily dodged the attack of the magic elemental balls with the help of the break time defense. Level point four water magic, solid ice shield wall. While Jolson dodged, his hand did not stop, and he kept casting magic. His left hand released frost, and the material elemental magic wolf that had just been repelled was frozen into ice sculptures before it could even stabilize its body. The staff in his right hand released scorching rays, killing the elemental magic wolves one by one. The increase in his spiritual power base had greatly increased the power of every spell that he cast, and the power now was almost twice as strong as before. Moreover, he could think of two things at the same time, and he could also cast both water and fire spells at the same time. The five ordinary elemental magic wolves did not even have the chance to fight back, and they were scattered after a few moves. At this time, a dark shadow moved to the foot of Jolson without any sound and suddenly exploded. The dark elemental magic wolf rushed out fiercely. Its pitch-dot-black body, which looked like the night sky, formed a strong contrast with its white fangs, bringing endless fear to people. However, Jolson had already expected this. In an instant, seven or eight red halos burst out from his body, exploding at the same time. The dark elemental wolf was forced to retreat. The mage tower was relatively friendly to the trial dot takers. In this level of the battle environment, which was filled with lightning in a vast expanse of whiteness, the dark elemental wolf's innate ability, shadow concealment, received a great negative effect. In other environments, such as the Dark Knight, the hidden killing intent was the most terrifying. During the last challenge to the Mage Tower, where half of the magic wolves were left on the field, Jolson's face had already begun to turn slightly pale. He had already used up more than half of his magic power and mental strength. But this time, after throwing out six or seven level point four spells, his face was still very calm. 
his spiritual power and magic power were much stronger than that of an ordinary level point four mage. The light elemental magic wolf also joined the battle. The combination of water and fire spells blossomed in a brilliant light in Jolson's hands. The three rare elemental magic wolves were also dying. The light and dark elemental magic wolves, which were the most difficult to deal with, were now full of wounds and the light was much dimmer. It's much easier than I thought. Looking at the remaining two elemental wolves, Jolson said to himself in a low voice, but I'll let you die a more magnificent death. Jolson moved his hand. Eight exploding fireballs appeared in front of Jolson and flew towards the two wolves. Then there were dense water bombs. They were like meteors crashing into each other. The speed of the water bombs became faster and faster, and they gradually caught up with the exploding fireballs. One after another, they merged into the fireballs. The exploding fireballs expanded rapidly like balloons. The faintly revealed terrifying power made the two elemental magic wolves feel a sense of danger, and a trace of fear appeared in their eyes. The light element magic wolves opened their mouths wide, and dazzling light balls were brewing in their air. The shadow under the dark element magic wolf's feet gradually began to spread, and its body slowly sank down. The two elemental magic wolves were ready to unleash their strongest attack. Jolson raised his magic staff and pointed it in the air. He said softly, Explode. Boom. A loud sound was heard. Eight exploding fireballs fused with water bombs exploded almost at the same time. Flames and frost flew everywhere. In an instant, they were as beautiful as fireworks. When the raging magic elements gradually calmed down and the smoke dispersed. The light and dark elemental magic wolves had long disappeared. Facing the combined magic attacks that were equivalent to the power of eight level point four spells, even if they were all tier point five, they would not be able to withstand such attacks. Congratulations, trial dot taker. A familiar voice sounded in his ear. Jolson was very satisfied with the actual combat effectiveness of the water dot fire combined spell. However, the higher the level of the water.fire dual.element spell, the more difficult the fusion would be. Right now, Jolson could only perfectly fuse a level point 3 spell. The fusion of a level point 4 spell was not yet mature. After a short period of meditation to recover the mana he had used up, Jolson entered the next level. Francis appeared outside the mage tower with a pale face. Chapter 55 the first seat of the academy you are listening at novel full dot audio. The 20.6th floor, I'm still a little short, Francis said softly with a hint of unwillingness in his eyes. If he had a little more mana left, he would be able to break through to the 20.7th floor. A third dot tier mage challenging the 20.7th floor. A shocking result. Even in the history of the Tulip Academy, he could be ranked. Francis was already proud of his results. But when he looked at the ranking on the magic screen, the joy that had just risen in his heart instantly disappeared. Because he saw it. Jolson Edward, 4th grade, level 42. Did he break through again? Francis whispered in a dull voice, his face full of frustration and bitterness. At this moment, he was not the only one who saw that Jolson had broken through to the 40.2nd floor. Jolson Edward had successfully broken through to the 40th floor of the Mage Tower. This news spread throughout the Tulip Academy in a very short time. It was similar to the grand occasion when Jolson challenged the Mage Tower for the first time. Many students immediately put down what they were doing and rushed over when they received the news. Jolson had been stuck on the 40th floor of the Mage Tower for a long time. No, it should have been a long time for Jolson. But in fact, it was only last week. During this week, Jolson often came over to try to challenge the 40th floor, but he never succeeded. Everyone thought that Jolson had encountered a bottleneck and that it would be difficult to break through in a short period of time. In the end, they did not expect him to succeed in the challenge in just short of a week. Everyone gathered outside the mage tower and looked at the name, Jolson Edward, who had climbed to the 40.3rd floor. 
Everyone sucked in a breath of cold air. It was so terrifying. Such a result made everyone unable to believe it. After entering the 40th floor, did it mean that Jolson had already advanced to Tier 5? The speed of his advancement was too terrifying. O oh God of Magic! How long has it been since he entered the Academy? He has already advanced to Tier 5. Could it be that he is the illegitimate child of the God of Magic? I can't believe it. This talent is too terrifying. Everyone was almost powerless. The constant shock had almost numbed them. They watched as Jolson's name climbed up step by step. The 40.4th floor, the 40.5th floor, the 40.6th floor. If it wasn't for the glorious battle record of Jolson challenging the Mage Tower last time, they might even think that they were dreaming. On the 40.7th floor, there was a flash of light. Jolson's figure appeared outside the Mage Tower. He had a tall and slender figure, and there was not a single wrinkle on his brand new mage robe. Only his slightly pale face and somewhat tired eyes showed that he had used up a lot of energy. When Jolson came out and saw so many people surrounding him, he was slightly stunned. However, he had long been familiar with this scene and quickly regained his calm. He walked through the crowd and headed outside. The crowd automatically backed away from where he walked and parted a path. Everyone stared at him in a daze. Their eyes were filled with shock, admiration, envy, admiration, and a trace of deep respect. The current Jolson was no longer just a genius. He could already be called, a powerhouse. With the power of the 40.7th floor of the Mage Tower, he could easily defeat most of the people present with one move. When Jolson's back gradually disappeared from everyone's sight, someone could not help but sigh and say, he just became Jolson's classmate. It hasn't even been a few days, and he is about to advance to the fifth grade and become my senior. No, a student wearing a red mage robe looked at the magic screen in confusion and said, Jolson, he doesn't seem to have advanced to the fifth grade. What? Impossible. This is absolutely impossible. Are you kidding me? Yes. Another person said with certainty, the 40.7th floor is the most powerful evidence. If Jolson advanced to the fifth grade, then he definitely wouldn't only have this result. A level 5 magic beast is not something that a level 4 magic beast can compare to, okay? It is already very impressive that Jolson was able to defeat six elemental magic wolves at tier 5. Some people could not help but retort, thinking that Jolson had already advanced to a tier 5 mage. The former glanced at him and pointed at a name at the top of the magic light screen, he said calmly, don't forget, when Ulysses set this record, he was only a newly advanced tier 6 mage. He almost defeated six tier 6 elemental magic beasts at the same time. Do you think that it's worse for Jolson to avoid Ulysses? As soon as he said this, no one on the field said anything. Because no one thought that Jolson could not be compared to Ulysses. From the current situation, the talent and potential that Jolson displayed was even more powerful than Ulysses. So, Jolson is still a tier 4 mage. But his strength is already able to cross ranks to challenge 6 tier 5 elemental magic beasts. God of magic. Someone sighed helplessly. It was even more terrifying and horrifying. How did he do it? Is it really possible? The age competition is coming up, and he's still in the fourth grade. Who else in the fourth grade is his match? I'm afraid that even the fifth grade is no match for him. The students in red mage robes looked at each other and smiled bitterly. Jolson Edward can already reserve the first seat of the fourth grade but give him another half a year. No, it shouldn't be that long. He can definitely become the first seat of the Tulip Academy. Everyone's expressions were horrified. If it was really as they said. The 16.year.old would be the first seat of the Academy. The youngest first seat of the Academy in history. This was too terrifying. Jolson was still recalling the proportion he had experienced in the Mage Tower. 
The power of the water. Fire fusion spell was much greater than he had imagined. With this, his tier 4 strength was enough to crush a tier 5 elemental magic wolf that had more than 40 levels. If it were not for the fact that the fusion spell consumed too much magic power too quickly, he estimated that he could have made it all the way to the 40.9th level. It was hard to say for the next two levels. He would only have a chance to pass after he mastered the fusion of level 0.4 magic. Jolson's life became busy and full. In addition to the basic lessons, he also had to receive two hours of private tutoring from Dean Harriet Terence every day. He then went to the Magic Potion Association for a while and then went to the library. The rest of the time, he spent all his time in the Dragon God Ranch. In addition to continuing to study the combination of level 0.4 water and fire spells, he took care of the water element dragon, Any. Chapter 56 The shocked Harriet Terence you are listening at novel full audio. In the Dragon God's Pasture the reflecting water surface was calm. If one looked down from the sky, one could see a shadow hidden under the water surface. Splash! The water splashed in all directions, and a clear dragon's cry sounded. A tall blue dragon dashed out of the lake. Annie flapped her wings and flew to Jolson's side. She intimately rubbed her long neck against Jolson's body, as if she was acting coquettishly. Jolson had already confirmed that Annie was a girl. Under the feeding of a large number of dragon scale fruits, Annie had rapidly grown to the fourth rank. Her figure was a whole circle smaller than that of Du Lu when she was at the fourth rank. But she was slenderer and more elegant than Du Lu. It reminded Jolson of an innocent noble girl. Jolson stroked Annie's smooth, moist head, laughing and playing with it. A domineering dragon's roar sounded. Du Lu flew out from the volcano's mouth. Eni let out a low dragon's roar as if she was responding to Du Lu, but her actions were very mischievous. With her powerful water magic talent, she controlled the lake water, and a stream of water shot towards Du Lu. Du Lu spat out a ball of flame, evaporating the water into steam. Seeing this scene, Eni was not happy. She controlled several streams of water to shoot towards Du Lu. Du Lu's eyes revealed a trace of helplessness and indulgence. He no longer spat fire or dodged. He allowed the water to wash over his body. He was drenched. Eni let out a joyful dragon's roar as if she had one. Jolson smiled as he watched from the side. Du Lu seemed to like Eni very much. Eni was the second dragon in the Dragon God Ranch. Du Lu's first kin. It could be seen that Du Lu had a very special feeling towards her. When Jolson was no longer in the Dragon God Ranch space, Du Lu was the one who took care of any. Although the two dragons' elemental abilities were naturally opposed, they were exceptionally friendly. Similar small games like the one before often happened between Du Lu and Eni. Du Lu's strength was far greater than Eni's, but he was giving in to her everywhere. This made Jolson feel very surprised. It seemed that he could consider bringing these two dragons together. Jolson stared at a building called Nurturing Mountain on the system interface. He gently touched his smooth chin, thinking about something. You actually passed the 40.6th floor of the Mage Tower. Harriet Terence looked at Jolson, his eyes full of surprise. As the owner of the Mage Tower, Harriet Terence was the one who knew the difficulty of each floor the best. The difficulty of every ten floors of the Mage Tower would soar. The power of the combined attack of ten magical beasts of the same level was unimaginable. Harriet Terence still remembered his most proud disciple, Ulysses. He had been stuck on the fortieth floor for more than half a year, only passing it after breaking through to become a fifth dot tier mage. Then, he had been stuck on the 40.1st floor for almost two years. And what about Jolson? He had stayed on the 40th floor for a week. Moreover, his strength was still that of a 4th dot tier mage. Even a saint dot tier mage like Harriet Terence could not believe this news. You summoned that dragon again. Harriet Terence could not help but ask, but he quickly denied this speculation. 
Jolson was a very proud person. If he had relied on the dragon, he could have directly cleared the 40th dot floor last time. There was no need to wait another week. But other than this, Harriet could not imagine the second possibility of Jolson clearing the 40th floor. He did not always pay attention to Jolson. He did not see the process of Jolson clearing the mage tower. I have recently comprehended some new things. Jolson thought for a while and decided to tell Harriet about cultivating water and fire magic together. This was his own strength. He would reveal it sooner or later. It was better to say it now. Jolson raised his right hand in front of Harriet. A clear and transparent water ball was changing shape in his palm. My god of magic. Harriet could not help but exclaim, but his expression became very serious. He then re-evaluated Jolson's magic talent. Half a minute later. Harriet's mouth was wide open. He looked at Jolson in a daze, unable to say a word. Under his feet, there were broken pieces of the crystal ball. The two crystal balls had both exploded. Harriet Terence swallowed with difficulty and said, his water magic talent is actually superior. Harriet Terence could no longer describe his current mood with words. The superior dual magic talent actually appeared on a person's body at the same time. Even he could not help but feel a little jealous. Could it be that Jolson was really the illegitimate son of the god of magic? Edward. The shocked expression on Harriet Terence's face quickly turned solemn. You must immediately stop your training in water. Element magic. Teacher. Jolson interrupted Harriet Terence's words. He knew what Dean Harriet Terence wanted to say. Jolson did not choose to explain. Instead, he used his actions to explain. He summoned a fireball and a water ball with both hands. Then, he easily fused the two elemental balls together in front of Harriet Terence. Harriet Terence's eyes immediately widened. He looked at the water and fire elemental magic balls in Jolson's hands in disbelief. How? How did you do that? Harriet Terence was so shocked that he began to stutter. As a saint-level mage, he had seen everything, but what he saw today was beyond his understanding. I don't know. Jolson shook his head in confusion and said, Last week, during a meditation, I suddenly realized that the water element was very close to me. After that, it was very natural for me to do this. Harriet Terence could not help but ask, is there any conflict between the magic power in your body now? No, Jolson shook his head firmly, indicating that he denied it. How far have you learned your water magic? Same as fire magic. Harriet Terence's heart suddenly trembled violently. Sixteen years old, dual dot talent, dual dot element, fourth dot rank mage, instant dot cast magic, born with the fusion of water and fire elements. Harriet Terence was struck by this disciple of his. He felt as if he had returned to the days when he was a young man traveling around the central continent. The geniuses were so talented that even he was jealous of them. Harriet Terence finally knew how Jolson had managed to reach the 40th floor of the Mage Tower with the strength of a fourth dot rank mage. He was very clear about the power of a double dot element spell. Challenging someone of a higher rank was as common as eating and drinking water. Harriet Terence's mood suddenly became uncontrollable and excited. Good, that's great. Chapter 57 You will definitely surpass me you are listening at novel full dot audio. Harriet Terence grabbed onto Jolson's shoulder tightly. The satisfaction, admiration, and love in his eyes for Jolson were ten times more than before. The flame that had been extinguished in his heart burned intensely once again, continuing to burn on Jolson's body. Tomorrow, I will let Elsa become your teacher again, teaching you water magic. Harriet Terence looked at Jolson and said, Jolson Edward, your achievements will definitely surpass mine in the future. After coming out from Harriet Terence's place, Jolson let out a sigh of relief. The sudden appearance of water magic talent did not make Harriet Terence suspicious. 
He even took the initiative to find a way to explain it to Jolson, saying that some hidden magic talent would be awakened later in life. A small number of dual dot element mages only awakened their second elemental talent after coming into contact with magic. It was not bad to let teacher Elsa teach him. Although Elsa only had the strength of a sixth rank high mage, her foundation was very solid. Her understanding of middle and low dot rank magic was not necessarily much worse than Harriet Terence's. Moreover, seeing a young and beautiful teacher every day was obviously much more pleasant than facing that old man, Harriet Terence. All day long. Jolson. Someone called out softly from behind. Jolson took a look at the brick and realized it was Juliana. Juliana. Jolson smiled and nodded, greeting Juliana. Since they were not in the same class, the chances of the two of them meeting each other were obviously much less. Juliana looked at Jolson, and it seemed that there was not much difference from a month ago. Dot however, the distance between the two of them had become very far. Ever since Jolson's reputation had become famous, the feelings in Juliana Jiujiang's heart had been quietly hidden. My sister asked me to tell you that I have gotten the green truffles. There was a burst of joy in Jolson's eyes. Benson had set off with the caravan of the Luca Chamber of Commerce. After more than half a month, he had finally returned. They had returned with the green truffles that Jolson had been looking forward to for a long time. Is this it? Jolson gently picked up a pale green, semi-dot transparent, and irregular object that looked like a gel on the table. It was cold and soft to the touch and had a faint natural fragrance. It was very similar to the various jellies he had eaten in his previous life. Jolson looked up at Catherine and asked, is there only this little in total? There were two pieces of jelly similar to the one in Jolson's hand, and this one was even smaller. In total, it was less than 500 grams. Catherine said with shame and helplessness, green truffles are also relatively precious medicinal materials in the elf clan. Besides, other than the elves who can use unique methods to find them, no one else has any way to find them, so there are only this few. Jolson nodded slightly and suddenly said, I hope the Luca Chamber of Commerce will not do such things again in a while. Catherine fell silent and didn't say anything. The Luca Chamber of Commerce has always been good at trading slaves. Last month, the Chamber of Commerce almost couldn't keep up, so I had to come up with this method. This time, I will treat the elves who helped us to find green truffles kindly and let them go when we go to the elf forest next time. What Catherine did not tell Jolson was that the two male elves who had been captured together with Lees the last time. Although she had helped them to find the green truffles that Jolson wanted this time, she had also shouted for help during the search process and attracted the help of other elves. Benson and the others had lost almost half of their people before they managed to escape from the elven forest. Benson was also injured because of this. Jolson put away the green truffles in satisfaction and began to casually ask Catherine about the recent situation of the Chamber of Commerce. Catherine's face revealed a smile. The Chamber of Commerce's shops have all resumed business. The potion shop has increased the number of items. The sales of the ice and fire magic conductors are also very good. If this continues, the Luca family will be able to recover very quickly. Jolson nodded. He was also happy for Catherine. What about the people who went against you before? Catherine looked at Jolson. Her eyes suddenly revealed a faint look of worship and admiration. Ever since they found out that the Song of Ice and Fire was developed by you, they have never come to the shop to cause trouble. The legendary story about Jolson had long spread throughout the entire capital. Who didn't know about the super genius, Jolson? A 16.year.old super magic genius, the personal disciple of Harriet, and His Majesty the King personally decorated him. It was no longer a secret that the Song of Ice and Fire was produced by Jolson. The Luca family could get the exclusive right to sell potions by the Magic Potion Association, and the Black Dot Hearted Merchant, Grantham, wouldn't be able to get half a bottle of potion even if he doubled the price. This had to make those people think about the relationship between the Luca family and Jolson. 
In a short time, they would not dare to do anything so obvious to harm the Luca family's interests. Because that might offend a very promising big shot. This person was Jolson. Be careful that they don't use those dirty tricks again. Jolson could not help but remind Catherine. Catherine's expression was serious. She knew what Jolson was talking about. The Shadow Association. Understood. I will increase the guards of the Chamber of Commerce as soon as possible. Jolson nodded and stood up to bid farewell to Catherine. He could not wait to go back and prepare the Dragon Blood Potion. In the space of the Dragon God Ranch. Dulu squatted in front of Jolson with a big belly and looked at him pitifully as he kept cutting his belly with a dagger. Sigh. Jolson sighed and threw the damaged dagger on the ground. He helplessly raised his head and said to Dulu, stick out your tongue. Dulu's entire body was covered with dragon scales with amazing defense. Even the softest belly was not something that Jolson could cut open with a normal dagger. If he could have the strength of a knight, he might be able to do it with the support of his combat aura. However, as a mage, his physical fitness might not be much better than an ordinary person's. Du Lu's eyes revealed an aggrieved look, and Brick looked to the side. Annie was looking at them curiously, obviously not knowing what exactly was Jolson trying to do. Du Lu laid down on the soft grass. His huge head was like a small hill. His mouth was wide open and his red dot hot tongue was sticking out. Jolson picked up another intact dagger and carefully cut Dulu's tongue. The opening of the dagger instantly turned red. There were even signs that it was about to melt. It became very hot to the touch. Fortunately, there was a small cut, and red dragon blood flowed out. Chapter 58 A Strange Potion You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. E and I. When Eni saw Du Lu bleeding, she immediately covered her eyes with her wings in fear. She could not help but peek out of curiosity. She looked very cute. Jolson threw away the dagger and quickly put the crystal bottle he had prepared under the bleeding wound. When the crystal bottle was almost full of dragon blood, the wound on Du Lu's tongue was almost completely healed. Looking at the lava dot like red dragon blood shaking slightly in the bottle, a satisfied expression appeared on Jolson's face. Lime, Obsidian, Tier 5 Magic Beast Bone Powder. All of these materials could be bought in the capital, but the price was slightly higher. There are also the key green truffles and dragon blood. Jolson placed all the ingredients for the dragon blood potion in front of him once, and his eyes gradually became focused as he began the first preparation. It was even more difficult than he had imagined. He failed three times in a row. A fist dot sized piece of green truffle was wasted just like that. This made his heart ache for a while. The most precious dragon blood was as much as he wanted. He took a deep breath, picked up another piece of green truffle, and said in a low voice, I can't make any mistakes this time. A moment later, a strange bottle of pale red potion that was almost transparent appeared in front of Jolson. According to the formula, the dragon blood potion should be as turbid as blood. How can it be so clear? Jolson picked up the potion and looked at it carefully. There was a golden halo around the potion. But this cut doesn't look like a failure at all. There's no problem with the preparation process. Jolson made another batch, but the result was still the same. He frowned, his eyes full of doubt. The dragon blood potion only existed in theory. No one had ever made it. He was the first experimenter. Therefore, Jolson was a little flustered. Any, come here quickly. Hey. When Any heard Jolson's call, she instantly flew back as if she had received a scare. Standing by the lake, she wanted to dive into the water at any moment. Jolson coaxed Any like he was coaxing a child and waved at her. Come, it won't hurt very much. I will just make a very, very small cut. Annie called out softly a few times, lowered her head, and slowly moved over unwillingly. The intimacy in the soul and bloodline made it unable to refuse any of Jolson's requests. 
Roar. Jolson was about to pry Annie's mouth open when suddenly, Du Lu squeezed in. His mouth was wide open, and his tongue was so long that it was about to fall to the ground. Saliva kept dripping down. He looked like a silly dog. Du Lu looked at Jolson with a pleading gaze, as if he was saying, Master, if you want to cut me, then cut me. I'm not afraid of pain, any is. Jolson felt that it was very funny. He reached out and patted Du Lu's head. He smiled and scolded, Don't worry, I guarantee that your sister Annie will not be in trouble again. Du Lu could only walk away quietly. Annie's sapphire dot like clear eyes were covered with a layer of mist. Her big eyes looked at Jolson like a poor girl who was about to cry. Jolson almost couldn't bear to look at her, as if he was a bad person. Jolson made up his mind and gently pierced the tip of Annie's tongue, taking a small bottle of dragon blood. When he looked at Annie again, her eyes were filled with tears. Du Lu quickly flew over to comfort her. Ignoring the two dragons, Jolson put his mind back to the preparation of the dragon blood potion. He was getting more and more familiar with it. This time, the successful potion was just like the formula said. It was muddy like blood and had a trace of almost invisible water blue color. This was because any was a water dot type dragon. Jolson's frown deepened. The two potions in front of him now. In theory, the turbid potion was the successful one. Jolson had already recalculated the formula of the potion to make sure that there were no mistakes or problems. However, the golden dot red potion looked more like a successful product than the turbid potion. Jolson believed that if the two potions were placed in front of anyone, that person would immediately choose the golden dot red potion. There was no way to judge, so he could only use experiments to prove it. Jolson took out the two rabbits that he had prepared earlier. He could not try it directly with his own body. He took three drops of both potions and fed them to the two rabbits. Jolson stared at the condition of the two rabbits seriously. They were normal at first. But after a minute, the two rabbits ran around crazily as if they had been injected with stimulants. Then they convulsed, and bulges appeared on their bodies one after another. It was as if there were many little mice running quickly under their fur. Bang! The bulges exploded one after another, and fresh blood gushed out. The two rabbits looked very miserable. However, Jolson's expression was very calm. Until now, the situation after taking the pills was exactly the same as what the formula had said. More and more blood flowed out, forming a thick blood scab that completely wrapped up the two rabbits. They looked like two blood dot red eggs. Jolson had been guarding the two blood eggs for an hour, but he did not see any movement. He had no choice but to leave. Before he left, he had instructed Du Lu to take care of the two eggs. Then, he left the Dragon God Ranch. Dark blue, red, and purple. Students from three different grades gathered in a stream and walked over from different directions. It was rare for Tulip Magic Academy to have such a grand occasion. Because today was the annual grade competition. Students from different grades stood in different areas. In the middle was the magic book sculpture that symbolized knowledge, magic, and spiritual power. Jolson stood quietly among the fourth dot grade students. There was a small empty area beside him. The people around him unconsciously surrounded him and whispered among themselves. Jolson is definitely the first seed of the fourth dot grade. After that position, you can challenge the first seed of the upper grade. Ha! Huh, the fifth dot grade and sixth dot grade students are going to be unlucky that they deserve it. Who asked them to be so arrogant? This is the perfect time for Jolson to teach them a good lesson. I'm looking forward to it. The grade competition required the students to take the initiative to register before they were qualified to fight for the position of the lead student. Jolson had completely forgotten about this matter. However, everyone tacitly acknowledged him as one of the participants. Countless people were looking forward to Jolson's performance. With a flash of light, Harriet Terence's figure appeared in the middle of the field, 
hovering above the Book of Magic. The field quieted down. The students' eyes were filled with admiration and excitement. Hovering in the air. Other than wind mages, mages could not do this. It meant that he was a saint.level mage. Chapter 59 You are listening at NovelFull.audio A realm that was both highly anticipated and very far away. Harriet Terence casually said a few words, and then officially announced the start of the third grade competition. The center of the academy square was divided into zones, and the academy instructors cast a magic barrier to separate them. The contestants drew lots to decide their opponents, and there would be a half-hour break after each battle. The battles between the different grades were very lively. There were even instructors who would comment on the students by the side, pointing out the strengths and weaknesses of the students on the field. The final goal of the grade competition was to improve the students' control of magic and their actual combat ability so that they could prepare for the graduation trial. However, in the fourth grade, a very strange scene appeared. Hello, student Jolson. My name is Wycliffe Lucian. My father is Earl Egbert Lucian. A red-dot-haired teenager stood in front of Jolson and kept introducing himself. He did not have any desire to fight with Jolson at all. Jolson was stunned. This was the fourth one, right? Every opponent who came on stage was the same. The last sentence. Nice to meet you, Jolson Edward, I admit defeat. Then blandly walked off the stage, not a bit of shame or blushing expression. Jolson didn't know what to say. What was this? Were they all just copying each other? In a day's time, the grade competition ended. Jolson had not even used a single spell, and he had become the recognized principal of the fourth grade. No one had a single one. In the entire fourth grade, only Jolson was a tier 4 mage, and his combat power was so terrifying. Who would have any objections? How could they fight with him? If they went up to fight, they would be beaten up. All grades principal students, you can choose the target you want to challenge. Everyone instantly became excited. The real show was about to begin. Jolson glanced in the direction of the purple mage robe. The fifth grade's principal immediately became nervous. The sixth grade's principal even directly stood up. I, Rodan, challenged the fourth grade's principal student, Jolson Edward. A handsome gray-dot-haired teenager looked directly at Jolson and said in a serious and loud voice. Rodan was wearing a purple mage robe. Half an hour ago, he had just won the sixth year's principal position. To be precise, he had won the sixth year's principal position for a second time. Rodan had already won the sixth year's principal position for two consecutive school years. The entire hall was in an uproar. The sixth-grade lead student challenged the fourth-grade lead student. This can be considered a big legend, right? Why do I admire Rodan's courage instead? Because his opponent is Jolson. And Jolson is a monster. The fifth-grade lead student secretly heaved a sigh of relief. Last week, I just advanced to become a fifth-tier magician, Rodan said. It immediately caused a wave of exclamations. So Rodan has already become a fifth-tier mage. I didn't expect him to hide his strength just now. No wonder he had the courage to challenge Jolson. Impressive. But. Rodan's face revealed a bitter smile, and he said in a helpless and bitter tone, I can't even pass the 30.4th floor of the mage tower, so I want to ask Junior Jolson for advice. Please promise me, Rodan's eyes were sincere, and he looked at Jolson with longing. The senior students challenged the junior students, and the junior students had the right to refuse. Okay. Jolson simply agreed. The two people walked up to the center of the dual platform one after another. Everyone was watching. Everyone was looking forward to this battle. Francis's eyes were fixed on the two people. There was no obstacle. He was the first student of the third grade. He wanted to challenge Jolson, but he knew that he was no match for him. 
Rodan majored in wind magic, just like Francis. Francis stared at the field. He wanted to see how big the gap between Rodan and Jolson was. Rodan performed a standard magician's etiquette to Jolson. The battle officially began. Rodan immediately threw four or five wind blades at Jolson. As a tier 5 magician, he could already cast a level 1 spell instantaneously. Then, he quickly chanted a spell and cast a levitation spell on himself. At this time, the privilege of being a wind magician was that a tier 5 magician would be able to break free from the shackles of the earth. Jolson casually dealt with a few wind blades until Rodan floated into the air. Then, he raised his right hand. In the following time, Jolson used his actual actions to show all the teachers and students in the academy what a battle between real mages was. A magnificent performance. Everyone was stunned. Including many teachers in the academy. Extremely meticulous magic control, terrifying battle awareness, and perfect casting timing. The most intuitive benefit of powerful spiritual power was that Jolson could control the entire scene like a god. Moreover, everyone was surprised to find that. Every spell that Jolson cast was at least twice as powerful as theirs. A level 0.3 spell could easily cancel out Rodan's level 0.4 spell. A level 0.4 spell could easily cancel out Rodan's level 0.5 spell. The key was. No matter what kind of spell Jolson cast, it would be instantaneous. It was so terrifying. Bang. Rodan's face was pale as he fell to the ground. His chest rose and fell rapidly, and he was panting heavily. He no longer had any magic power to keep himself afloat. Rodan's eyes were filled with shock, fear, and awe as he looked at Jolson. Jolson was simply not human. He was a monster. From the beginning to the end, Jolson knew how to use magic to defend against Rodan's attacks. He had never taken the initiative to attack. But even so, he, a fifth-dot-tier mage, had been drained of his magic power by a fourth-dot-tier mage. He looked at Jolson again. His face was still calm, as calm and elegant as ever. It was as if he had just participated in a delightful dance and not an intense battle. Had his magic power already reached such a level? Rodan had completely admitted in his heart that Jolson was stronger than him. He said, I admit defeat. After a short period of silence, a flood of applause and cheers erupted. Jolson Edward. No one knew who was the first to call out this name, and then everyone followed suit and shouted. The first seat of the Tulip Academy of Magic. The 16 that year old first seat student. Once again, Jolson broke the historical record of the Tulip Academy of Magic. Jolson stood on the stage and looked at everyone calmly. He was like an emperor. He rose like a comet and was like the sun in the sky, dazzling. Chapter 60 The Knights of Dawn have arrived you are listening at NovelFull.audio Francis, who was below the stage, looked at Jolson and sighed heavily. He knew that if he wanted to catch up to Jolson, he might not have the chance to do so in his lifetime. A bunch of carriages slowly drove into the city gates. This is the capital of the Alcott Empire. The person in the lead said with a smile. That's all. A slightly contemptuous voice sounded. The corner of the leader's mouth rose. He smiled and did not say anything. Everyone in this group was wearing gorgeous and beautiful armor. They were tall and strong, and they did not blend in with everything around them. On the carriage and armor, there was a small knight's longsword symbol engraved on them, making them appear dignified and noble. I can predict that this time, Tulip Academy will welcome another crushing defeat. Ha ha ha, isn't this already destined? They can't even beat us in the past, let alone this time. We have Don Quixote. The light of dawn of the empire. Everyone in the cultural relics turned their gazes to a young man riding on a snow-dot-white warhorse. Their faces were filled with worship, reverence, and even fanaticism. The man is known as Don Quixote. 
he had golden hair that was as bright as the morning sun. His face was handsome and cold, and there was no expression on his face. It was as if everything around him had nothing to do with him. Don Quixote has advanced to a sixth-tier knight, eighteen years old. If those mages from the Tulip Academy saw him, they would probably be scared to death. It is said that there is a genius from the Tulip Academy this year. He advanced to a third-tier mage at the age of sixteen. Third-tier, ha ha ha, I could crush him with one hand. Oh. I really hope that this magic genius will not appear on the dueling platform in the exchange match. Otherwise, he might go home crying to find his mother. Ha ha ha. A burst of arrogant laughter rang out in the team. The middle dot aged knight in the lead slowed down slightly and walked side by side with Don Quixote. The two people beside Don Quixote also slowly approached. One of them was a red dot haired handsome teenager. The corners of his mouth rose, and his expression was relaxed and comfortable. The other was a girl. She had long golden hair like Don Quixote, tied behind her head. Her facial features were beautiful, but there was a hint of sharpness in her eyebrows and eyes. Even if she was riding on a horse, one could see her tall and slender figure. Although the Tulip Academy has gradually declined in recent years and no geniuses have appeared, the foundation is still there. Don't underestimate your opponents too much. The red dot haired youth's lips curled up slightly as if he was very disdainful. Don Quixote and the blonde girl were expressionless. The middle dot aged knight shook his head helplessly. When he said this, even he himself felt that it was a little exaggerated. This year's exchange competition was not like an outing. There were many geniuses in the Imperial Knight Academy. Every year, there would be extremely stunning geniuses appearing. This time, there were even three of them appearing at the same time. There was even a terrifying monster dot like genius like Don Quixote. Even His Majesty, the Emperor, was alarmed by him and awarded him the honor of the Empire's Light of Dawn. I'm here for Princess De Shannon. Don Quixote, who had been silent all this while, suddenly spoke, his determined gaze fixed upon the imperial palace of the Alcott Empire. Slowly but firmly, he said, I will defeat all those who try to stop me, one by one. Within the space of the Dragon God Ranch, two strange creatures stood in front of Jolson. One could barely make out the appearance of a rabbit. But one was like a big dog, and the other was as big as a calf. One had blue fur, and the other had turned completely red. Both rabbits had a small horn on their heads. It was similar to the dragon horn on Du Lu's head. From the two rabbits, Jolson could feel the aura of a magical beast that was close to the first rank. The one with the fiery red fur was close to a tier two magical beast. Jolson was shocked. They were just simple rabbits. A few drops of the dragon blood potion had allowed them to evolve to the level of a magical beast. Wasn't the effect of the potion a little too powerful? L.R.G. Jolson could finally confirm it. The dragon blood potion was successfully concocted. Moreover, the potion concocted with Du Lu's dragon blood was obviously more effective. After thinking for a long time, Jolson suddenly remembered. Du Lu still had 10% of the ancient dragon bloodline flowing through his body. If he guessed correctly, it should be this reason that caused the mutation of the dragon blood potion. Fortunately, this mutation was going in a good direction. After confirming that there was no problem, the next step was to take it. The formula said that there was no pain and no side effects during the process of taking the dragon blood potion. Jolson felt that this was complete nonsense. After seeing the two rabbits take the potion, the excruciating pain of being skinned and cramped, Jolson would never believe that there was no pain. Should I drink it? Jolson was a little hesitant. In the end, he picked up the potion and drank it in one gulp. He drank the cloudy bottle that looked like blood. It was not as bad as he had imagined. There was a faint fishy smell, and the taste was rough. Du Lu and Eni curiously poked their heads over and looked at Jolson. Jolson waited silently. 
Suddenly, his chest hurt. Jolson thought to himself, it's coming. The pain spread out like a spider web and quickly spread to Jolson's entire body. In an instant, the pain was magnified countless times. It was like a hundred steel knives scraping on Jolson's bones and flesh, accompanied by a faint chill. Jolson's handsome face instantly wrinkled into a ball, and his forehead was covered in a cold sweat. He saw that his skin was bulging and expanding like a rabbit's, and there were bloody blisters everywhere. He hurriedly closed his eyes. The pain surged up like a tide. Jolson could only continuously mobilize his spiritual power. Wherever his spiritual power traveled, there was a cool feeling. Crack. Crack. When the pain reached its peak, Jolson could even feel his skin bursting. He heard Du Lu and Eni's worried growls. They must be very anxious. The powerful spiritual power beyond ordinary people did not let Jolson faint easily. He could only hold on and use his spiritual power to comfort the exploding wound. He did not know how long this process would last. Tulip Magic Academy The knights from the Knight Academy of the Yang Empire arrived at the entrance of the academy and were naturally stopped by the guards. Who are you? A few arrogant knight students acted as if they did not hear anything and continued to ride their horses, wanting to enter. The guards had a serious look on their faces and subconsciously pulled out their long swords at their waists. They were all elite soldiers of the empire. The emperor's order was. Anyone who tried to break into the Tulip Academy of Magic was an enemy of the empire. You still dare to draw your sword. A red-dot-haired young knight revealed a contemptuous smile. He sat on his horse and punched the guard fiercely. His fist emitted a dazzling white light. The guard's expression changed and he shouted loudly, Level 5. Level 5 knight.